The ground preparation for your resin pool can start prior to your pool arriving. Begin by clearing the area of all vegetative matter, making sure the ground is level. Ensure you allow for the pool size and some extra area for the installation when marking out the ground. Take into consideration access for plumbing and electrical services, as well as proximity to trees. Once the pool location has been decided, it's time to mark out the area to prepare for the installation of your pool. The lines that you see being sprayed are the guide for the excavation of the working area. The channel and posts are laid out in the correct format and bolted together. During this assembly process, keep checking using a tape measure to ensure the correct measurements are achieved. You can now locate one of the assembled frames onto the pool site using the reference points marked out around the site. You can now mark an excavation line around the outside of the post and channel assemblies. Each post hole now has half a bag of rapid set poured in and the concrete pad placed on top. Packing the excavated area above the concrete pad and the channel area with a sand cement mix is the next step. You may now fit the atrium joiner plates with the wall channel round sections and side sections to form the complete shape of the pool. Fill the bottom of the pool with fatty sand. Allow approximately 900 millimetres of cleared space as this sand will be spread across the pool base area. The wall is slowly unrolled and placed into the bottom channel strips. You can achieve this by unrolling a couple of metres of wall and placing the first metre into the channel, then unrolling more wall and placing that metre into the channel. Use the first two metres of this process to locate the skimmer box opening in the wall in the correct position. Continue unrolling and inserting the wall into the channel all the way around the pool. Fasten the pool from the inside of the pool through to the outside of the pool, while washers and nuts are tightened from the outside. The bolt heads are then covered with three strips of gaffer tape. These strips of gaffer tape are to protect the liner from pressing into the slots in the heads of the bolts and tearing. You can now insert the decks temporarily to hold the wall in place. Level sand to a depth of 75 millimetres. It needs compacting to a 50 millimetre depth. Excess material is placed up against the wall edge and forms the pool wall covering. Simply use your hands to compact the sand covering. The liner needs to be placed in a warm room or in the sun to soften the material for a period of time. Once completed, place the liner inside the pool and roll it end to end. Remove the top decks and drape the liner over the wall. This process is repeated all the way around the pool. Visually align the seam in the floor section of the liner material with the centre line of the pool. The next step is to cover the skimmer box cut out in the wall, as well as the second safety suction point hole in the wall. You can now insert a vacuum cleaner hose through the eyeball return hole in the wall, so it hangs just above the sand covering the material. Seal off the hose and start the vacuum. The vacuum will remove the area between the liner and the pool wall. This pulls the liner material towards the wall. The vacuum takes 10 to 15 minutes to pull the liner into the wall. The pool can now be filled to a depth of 50 millimetres. 
and you can remove the coverings over the safety suction point and skimmer box. Install the skimmer box, eyeball return and secondary safety suction to the tub. Run their plumbing pipes to the pump filter system. Install the pump filter and optional chlorinator to the nominated site. Use a section of cardboard against the inside of the pool while a friend uses a sharp knife to cut around the circumference of both the secondary safety suction and eyeball return wall holes. Once the filtration system has been connected and all joins allowed to cure for 24 hours, the skimmer box can have the liner material cut away and the pool can now be filled up to halfway between the low and high markers found on the skimmer box surround. Make sure you leave a portion of the liner material hanging over the wall edge until you're fully satisfied the pool installation is perfect. Your pool is complete and ready to use. If you need help during installation, always refer back to your manual.